Hello, everyone. Delightful here. I like the novel and the new. So today, let's see what the indie world has for me and you. Today it has some of this awesome side-scrolling action roguelike here. I think corpse there. It's a bug. Let's actually go to the next level here. And... <laughs> loading, yeah. Giant bombardier beetle. Hey, Mato's Pop-Up Boutique. Okay, so this is like kind of sort of the in-between. I'm going to heal here. Ooh. So this is Ants Took My Eyeball. See, if you look close to my character, is a Cyclops without an eye. It's like not just missing, it's like it's healed over or something. I don't know. This is within the within run progression, like coins there. Do I want a mid jump? Like, do I want a double jump? Well, see, I start with a double jump with this. So one, two, three. I already have one of them, so I can get another one. Yes, I want that. One, two, three, four. It's just, <laughs> you get obscenely powerful very quickly. I love it. I have this gigantic uh, katana here. What is it? Dashi? I'm trying to remember. What's the word? Deo katana? I can swap. I have a gun as well. Many guns. Many different ammo types, which is awesome. Uh, what is that? Need an awesome gene. Very fun. I use conventional ammunition. I have like fireball that I launch. Okay. That's very good, actually. Uh, that. And different weapons you can wield. Different gadgets. Handy hand. I like handy hand. What's that? By volatile porcelain. Pots you throw. I don't think I really throw pots. Brutal Cleaver, a heavy and vicious blade that inflicts three seconds of bleeding. Eh. You can actually sacrifice items as well. That's an energy cell. Yeah, give me that. Yeah. And that is a mini gun. I, I, I want that. I want that immediately. So I got a mini gun now. That makes me very happy. Well, there's a spin up timer, right? Ammo there. This give me all those ammo types. So cool. And procedural generation beginning on the next zone. Very cool. So you're going into an anthill because the ants took your eyeball, right? And Mr. Baby Cyclops wants it back. Or Little Cyclops. Maybe he shrunk himself down. Maybe they're giant ants. I don't know. Look at that. Uh-oh. Um, I can't move right now. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. It, it, it's Ant Queen. I got to the bottom. Well, I guess we're going to open with the boss now. That. I, I, okay. We're going to do that. I, I, oh, God. That's how they're doing things, I think. Uh. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. So I might actually clear the demo before I really show the game. I'll just go through the game. It's really fun. So I have like four double jumps. She is a set with me. Oh, there we go. No, there's no stamina in this. I can just keep swinging as I keep moving. She's pretty manageable. I'm actually pretty strong right now, though. Uh, yeah, okay. So dodge the dodges for uh, pincers. Something else I'll show you. Oh, well. he's not a good one to show. He attacks quickly. Oh god, the acid. Oh, oh, she's just spawning more. Oh, oh it's not bad. Ow. He's an attack too, huh? She's not that bad. I can actually, actually dash as well and you can air dash. I'm not I was expecting a boss. I was expecting a little bit more of a warm up. But this will let me show the main progression as well. See, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, intentionally throwing my <laughs> She's nice to me. Oh, I'm still alive. So I do, do have to watch out. She can still hurt me. Careful, she shouldn't. Like, there's no bump damage in this. Oh my god, I get her. Oh my god! Woo! <laughs> That's the minute progression there. The gems. The coins are the within run progression. I actually did it. Cool. Good job, me. Thank you for playing the demo. <laughs> I took my hand while you've reached the end of the demo. May continue playing and unlock all the upgrades you haven't already. Yeah, so it's on Steam. You can wish list it. The demo is still live. I just checked. So, yes, I wish listed it. I will leave feedback perhaps later. And I will continue. <laughs> hey there, Sleepyhead. This is what happens when you die. This is the meta progression component, is like a little Ant-Man. And the cool thing about this game, you, there's actually, and you don't often see this, there's four-player local co-op in the demo, live. It's like, what? It's kind of wild, right? Well, I can talk to this guy, because I actually... It's starting to look like, hey, Mo, and you... Okay, he's one of those people who refers to himself in the third person. He's like that. Okay, why don't we make this place look like a home? So now this is the meta progression, as I just mentioned. Because I have found the mid progression, this is it's one tide of a gems, right? 
Make sure that jumps out. And it's also tied to what you found, right? I've found the truffle pot, that mass that increases your maximum life. You find it in the procedural generation. But and that unlocked the ability for me to get a truffle pot. And a truffle pot, I'm just learning about this, is a pot for growing those curious pink shrooms that Haimo found on one of their ventures. Eating this increases your con, so we want that. Oh, and it grants you a free one. Okay, so meta progression. So as we've learned, though, it's not necessary, but, it, you know, who doesn't want to be more powerful, right? This is a, a trinket printer. It prints trinkets. Trinkets are uh, meta progressions. I, I bought one of them from the machine. They let me do another double jump. So, so I had, like, four dump, jumps and then a dash I can do on top of that. So it was, yeah. When you lose a run, you will get to choose one of the trinkets you found on that run. Ooh, we want that, too. Money tree. A small potted tree that glows nuggets of gold on its branches. Yeah, gold drops, very Noe test style. But it will fade away, as will ammo in this. I don't think the drops do, but those two will. Fertile soil and a little seed money go a long way. Yeah, look at that. Ammo belt rack. Oh, yeah. Grants one fine capacity upgrade of each ammo type. Oh, yes, we want that too. So we see all the goodies and more hit points. Yay! And the heart tree. <laughs> Yay! The stuff just appears. So beautifully animated game. Excellent sound. Gems well spent indeed, indeed. I open the printer. And I don't have any trinkets right now. I guess it took everything. That's fine. What's that? What's that? Oh, maybe... Oh. oh, yeah. See, when you don't have a weapon equipped, you kind of just uh, check things. And normally when you first start, you pop down here and just procedure generation beginning. After the first bit. There's a first little bit where they give you the weapon. And there's a tutorial built into it. Yeah. Oh, this... This is the money? Oh, there it is. That's all the stuff I wanted. See? I'm 150 life as opposed to 100. I get more ammo. This is the thing that's always here. You always get a club, right? And look at how kinetic and male. It just feels so good. You can also... Yeah. I'm telling you how... This is the tutorial bit. A to jump. Left and down. Yeah. Bo -bo -bo. See, that's why I... This game feels like... Cave Blazers with a gun. Yeah, it, it's, it feels that good. But the bosses aren't quite that tough. Cave Blazers bosses are insane. Okay, let's button open that. I find the game, and then left trigger to fire the gun. And you can also aim with the right stick. It but controls all right with mouse and keyboard. And I'm the only mouse and keyboard kind of person, but into the anthill. Now, procedure generation begins, right? Excellent sound. And look at that, you can smash the little spikes there. There we go. So I've done this area like three different times. It's always been different, right? Those boxes always seem to contain ammo. All right? So I'll show you if one of these guys. Gold in there, right? Gold 58. Made a progression 226. See? Oh, sure. See, they didn't hurt me. No bump damage in this. Well, he bit me. They have a, they have a quick attack. But I intentionally took that damage just to show you that there is no bump damage in this. I haven't been able to get in there yet. That's always there. See? No bump damage. It feels so good. And that's so important in like a, a 2D action RPG or side scroll like this. It's so thing up there. No. Oh, how's a mimic? Those where the, the meta progression is, and where the meta progression is, and a volatile porcelain. Eh, I don't throw any pots. I'll take it. Push R to reload. Ammo is limited. But it's so plentiful, right? <laughs> I think the melee just feels so good. The guns are good, too, but... Because you're so mobile in this. <laughs> Very good. Those are always containing some kind of ammo. See that little trap there, a little Splunky influence? I can trigger with the gunshot. So the game draws from so many different things. A lot of cave blazers, I feel, with the melee and the movement and the focus. And Splunky in terms of the traps you can find. Yeah, this game is far more mobile than... It feels like... Ooh, goodies. Ooh, chemical guns and a flamethrower. <gasps> you haven't seen this before. Classic flamethrowing device. It has a 10% chance to inflict burning. Take that. So that's gonna use chemical ammo, right? So I what was it? Give me that. Give me that. No. Pull up. Ooh, we like that. Drop down and there. 
It's such a good looking game. As I was saying, it's like so important that the more made of aggression. Wall hack grenade. Hmm. This highly advanced device utilizes state of the art wall hack technology to expose nearby enemies and mark them for more damage. Okay. I think that's a gadget. How those work, I barely ever use them. Because they're, they're a bit cumbersome. They're not as quick to use X for the melee and then right trigger for the gun. Whereas. No, no, don't, don't do that. Don't drop it. You can actually drop things. That's important because you can actually sacrifice items as well. Which is cool. What is it? It is... What is the gadget button? I can never use it. Oh, there it is. It's L1. You throw this kind of gadget thingy. I'll try to use it more. Oh, hello. That guy. He can't climb now. Burn! Bummer your beetle. Burn. Oh, wait. Let's switch guns. <laughs> Very good. Oh, I like the flame for quite a bit. Yeah, Trigger that. Go. Yeah. Okay. Nope. See, so you think I'm down? Not really. Like Splunky, I'd have to like use a rope to get back up. And this, I have, I have an air dash. Right, double jump. I saying K blazes. You need to have like a special character to even be able to do the double jump. And I can air dash too. What is that? Oh, it's ammo. Ooh, it's a secret. Yeah, this game has a lot of secret side passages as well. Got cool ammo. Yes, you know, fly. See, the not bump damage is so important because I'm only on, I'm on a 2D plane, right? I can't, like, go into, like, the third dimension just just step into the foreground. Or step into the background here. It's all foreground here, right? So not being, having bump damage to worry about is so important in that. An enemy having to having to hurt you with a, a projectile on attack adds so much to the game. And the excellent use of darkness in the game. So you know, you to sort of sneak up on you. Yeah, you got some kind of like tremor sense, I think, going on. I think. How else are you seeing things? Right? I'd like like variant rules when you play the game. Like, maybe like you can't see anything at all, right? You get like, um, what was it? What, what Marvel hero did blindness to us? Was it... It was... I can't remember his name. Ah, oh, it's horrible. Horrible! Ah, man, I've like played him. I mean, not that bad. Not that bad. For that, like, not that guy. <laughs> prior, prior to that. I just can't believe it. You know, he's, he's kind of like a street level. Mm. But how, how they handled... And he had a TV series as well. There's different TV series. That one didn't do that one. Some are recent. Netflix, I think. So good. <laughs> Different enemies. Oh god, I need those, I need those. Right. No! Don't shoot me. Burn, you bastard! <laughs> no, 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 don't no, no, get cut on that guy. Oh, they, see, they will jump a little bit. Oh yeah, there we go. So good. Oh, that, oh no, that flamethrower just chews the but I love it. Take that. Bummed your beetle. Okay. Oh yeah! <laughs> I remember at some point. Golden. That'll be lucky shotgun shell. I don't have a shotgun. I haven't found a shotgun yet. I'm guessing there is one. Ooh, an Udashi. Yeah, long and sharp blade. Rarely seen these parts of the world. It's like 100% upgrade. So I'll swap to it down and then. I mean, I I can't I still can't remember that damn superhero's name. A street level superhero. He's like a power level below Spider-Man. Below Captain America too, probably. Yeah. He's like, his enemy was like dead eye. <laughs> Silly. Oh, and uh, Kingpin. That's Kingpin a lot. Oh my god, I can't believe it. But he's blind, right? That's his, that's his whole thing. And he has like some kind of extrasensory perception. He sees them like, through sound, right? That'd be really cool in this. Like, having like a variant, like, to make it harder, right? Because the excellent use of darkness in this game. You can also push, was it Y on the controller? And you can see the map. Really pretty map. Looks like an ant tunnel, right? Because, you know, fight ants. Okay. Aligned minions. See how good the sword is? The, the cleaving arc it has? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, good. Dodge the arrow trap. Cool thing about this sword. Watch this. I can trigger those traps with this sword through the wall. I think. There we go. Another side passage. You seem surprised. I'm actually 
flamethrower so much, it's so good. I not use as much though, because it's not as much reach. Something's there. Oh yeah, there are elemental monsters you can come across as well. They got elemental buffs. There's fire, there's frost. Yeah. They'll ignite you. There's you know, environmental damage. You can get things that reduce it. That game's so good. Ow, stop that. Should be dashing more, honestly. I believe you have iframes in the dash, and dash seems about one second cooldown. Yeah, this feels like a melee build with cave lasers. Except I'm fighting bugs, I love it. 550 on that flamethrower. Oof, so good. Ooh, what if flamethrower can trigger that? I can. Burns the strength, holds me back, right? Makes sense, right? So I can damage those spikes there so I don't step on those and take damage. Very cool. Oh yeah. And you know there's gonna be loot at the end of this tunnel. Weakness of the flamethrower doesn't have to reach the other guns. Ugh, that group's so good actually. The game's aggressive. Healing is actually rare in this. You, have to, you only get it once you clear each level. Playing kind of janky, but look at this. You just exploit this guy. No, 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 no. Okay, you're not. You didn't like that. There you go. Give me all the ammo. I keep meaning to use all those silly little. Oh, here we go. Oh, it just marks them. Yeah, that's. that's... Yeah, I see. More made progression. That's a. Trinket, so that's gonna give me the double, uh, triple jump now. And more made progression and the needler, I'll take it. Better than the basic gun. Oh my god, I can't believe I can't remember that. <laughs> Look at the map, you ever get lost? Up right there, it tells you. Keep on thinking Deadpool. I'm like, Deadpool's not a hero, man. <laughs> He's not a hero. <laughs> I mean, he is, but you know. Strictly speaking, no. <laughs> I see him. Ow, oh, jeez, you bummed me a bug. <laughs> Kinda cheesy. Ooh, look. The cleaver. A large, heavy duty knife for splitting meaty things. Yeah, that's, you know. I'll take it, just because there's no inventory limit. And, uh, not that one. Uh, down. Eh. It attacks fast, but it doesn't have the reach I like. There, there are altars you can find to sacrifice things. It's pretty cool. Oh no, 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 no! Use that. I kind of prefer the rifle, the SMG. There's a rusty rifle that's actually pop, 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 pop. It's not as good up close, but it's just. you have to reload less. It's a bit more ammo efficient. I think it deals more damage per shot. Golden chest. The lightning gun I don't really care for. Because... Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. Like, really? I got You gave me a taser. You gave me a stun gun. And I overbuilt stun gun. You'll see. It's, it's not impressive. Yeah, okay. So will you arc? No, I won't arc. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Oh. Ow. See, you have to get too close with it. I don't care for it. This is what I like. This is the one. You hear me, bugs? No spikes. Come on, let me in there. I know I can get in there. There we go. <laughs> That's good. I don't want to get hit too many times though. Hit me more. There we go. Ouch. I hit again. Jump. Oh, look at that. I have chemical fuel and it was that? Batteries? From the energy gun? I think. Oh, yo, you hit me. <laughs> you are dead. <laughs> well, would you look at that? My little buddy's gonna help me. Oh, and choose the trinket because I've got other thing I got. Well, I want the double jump because the other things. Haven't found a shotgun yet. 
I'd like to find a shotgun. Shotguns are fun. Haven't got one right now. And I got a little more things I can buy. Not yet. Almost. Let's try another run here. <clears throat> there we go. And money, 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 money. Heart, heart, hearts. Chemical ammo. The stick, which is quite good, actually. Oop. And this will be the gun. Alright, so this section is always the same. And then procedure generation begins, right? And hello, what's up? The music keys you in as well. <laughs> Some cash. See, the coins will disappear. Eh, some people don't like that. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but well, it's plentiful enough, you know. I'm sure once I clear all the mana progression, I'll be able to get by a key or something. I'm thinking. I think. Yeah, whatever. Just take the hit. Very good. See you. See how strong melee is. I mean, the guns are fun, but. Kind of look there too. See this tap off to the left is different then. Go guys. No. If I can time it right, I can actually shoot those bashes as well. Hmm. Didn't work with that gun. That's that club. I have, before, when I was using the, that Nodashi thing, I was able to uh, knock projectiles out of the air, which is to break them, deflect them. Maybe it only works with certain things. It's a giant moth boss I was using, and that was pretty cool. I see this guy has, like, a frost star to him. And I was using fire on a frost guy once, and it seemed to hurt him a bit more, right? Kind of makes sense, right? Take him out. See, he's trying to butt-stop me there. He can't hurt me unless he actually does an attack, right? Oh, these guys are really buffed. Uh. After remember, they do attack quickly, though. Ow. There you go, I'm dead. So you may have noticed there isn't, this isn't a, an XP system here, right? So I'm not leveling up as I kill things. I'm getting gold and made a currency which I can use at a shop to get stronger, right? In this current run, or gems with the minute progression. And finding more loot which I can maybe get other of progression later, right? I see her. Not on me. They will spawn behind you as well. What if the game gets harder as you as you win? It seems like it's gotten tougher. I like that. That guy's got like a fire buff there. I'm playing kind of trash, but you know. Out, don't burn me, don't burn me. I'm on fire. Ah, oh, bad, bad. Okay. Give me ammo. Oh no, it's only giving me ammo for the guns I have, right? So then give me chemical ammo if I don't have a chemical gun, right? What's that? A Tesla sword? Sure, I'll wield it. It's better than a club, I imagine. I mean, he uses it. He's thrusting like a great sword. Don't mind that. A cool! One, two, three, four. <laughs> now I have four double jumps. And a dash, so... That's cool, right? So like a lot of action roguelikes when we keep finding new items, you know, more progression, right? It's like side grades. Like, this is, it hits hard.
Let's look at the map here. So you see, the map is so cool. It tells you to glance, that's different, right? Now it says I can go south or I can go east. I want to see what's east. And I could push south. And I was about to. I'm thinking, well, I'll look at the map. And it's a good thing I did, right? I walked down a spike or something I missed. Irritating. I'm playing kind of junk right now. And that's fine. No! No. Ah, that's horrible. This, gun is, this weapon is slower. That's the thing. I tried to thrust it, it did not work. <laughs> Would you look at that? I didn't find any trinkets. Why'd you get back up to our gun? <laughs> thank you, thank you, Mr. Buggy. Hey there, sleepyhead. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna put a little break in here, but this is Anne's took my eyeball. I'm gonna play some more. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, bye.